god or some mortal plans to save you, you will be brought low. You'll fall down at my knee, at my knee, and sweep my floor, sprinkling a shell Chalusa's river water from golden vessels, and you'll remember what country this is. You must dismiss all thought of how prosperous you used to be. There is no Priam here, no Hector, no gold for you. This is Greece. Poor thing, you really do have no more sense. You have the nerve to sleep with that man's son. His father killed your husband and to bear children to his house? This is the way barbarians behave. Father sleeps with daughter, son with mother, girl with brother. Loved ones stop at nothing because no law prevents them. Do not bring that kind of practice over here. My God, youth is a harmful thing, especially when coupled with injustice. I'm afraid that since I'm your slave, I'll be deterred from speaking, though I have a lot to say and justice prompts me. Effective words could get me in more trouble. Those who bluster really resent strong arguments from their inferiors. Young woman, tell me, what would I be thinking to compel me to try to drive you from your place in a legal marriage? Is Sparta so much weaker than Troy? Am I more fortunate than you? Look at me, am I free? Or is it that I intend to occupy this house because my youthful body, my great city, and all the friends and loved ones that surround me fill me with so much self-confidence? Or would the Theans tolerate my sons as rulers if you cannot bear children? They'd be slaves, a burden, dead weight. Oh yes, the Greeks loved me for Hector's sake. Am I unknown? Was I not to the queen of Troy? And it's not my drugs that make your husband hate you. It is just because you're difficult to live with. Compliance is a kind of magic charm. It's beauty, not excellence, that delights our bedmates. But you, just as soon as something irritates you, you get started. Sparta is great. Skiros is nothing. You're a patrician trapped here among paupers. Menelaus, so you claim, is greater than Achilles ever was. That's why your husband can't stand you. Let's say you were married to the king of Thrace, a land all blanketed in snow, where one man shares his bed with many women. What would you have done? Would you have killed the others? If so, you would have smeared all women with the charge that we're just insatiable in bed. Oh, Hector, my love, the things I did for your sake. I gave my breast many times to nurse your bastard child and never showed a flicker of resentment. It was excellence that endeared me to my husband. But you, you're afraid to let a single droplet of water from the sky have any contact with your husband's skin. You shouldn't try to be more man crazy than your own mother. <laughs> Aren't you superior? You think you have sense and I do not? You clearly do not to judge from your words. Oh, I hope I never have the kind of sense that you have. Young woman though you are, you speak quite hurtfully. You do more than speak hurtfully. You actually hurt me. Will you stealing my husband away. About your love problems? Why should I? Love's all a woman has to live for. Yes, but a woman who abuses love loses it. You are clever. Too bad you have to die. Do you see Thetis' statue watching you? Yes, she hates your land because of Achilles' murder. It was your mother, not I, who destroyed Achilles. <laughs> Will you keep prodding at my troubles? No, I'll stop right there. My lips are sealed. Say what I have come to hear you say. You have no sense you should think again. Will you come down from up there? <laughs> yeah.
If I can live, if not, I'll stay right here. That forever. has already been decided. I won't give in to you until he gets here. I'll bring fire. I don't care what you want. Bring fire and burn me then. The goddess will see this. A true barbarian born and bred. You are not afraid to die? Very well. I will make you come down from that altar of your own free will. I have something to lure you. Anyway, I'll say no more. Soon enough, the situation will speak for itself. Even if you were held up there by molten lead, I will have you down from there. Before he comes, the one you're counting on, Achilles' son. I am counting on him, yes. It's strange. The gods have given to mankind a cure for any kind of biting snake, but no cure has been found for what is worse than any viper's venom or any fire, a bad woman.